will now be attending the COP27 climate summit next week. He had previously opted not to go so that he could focus on Britain's domestic problems. Uh, the change of mind comes amid reports Sunak is drawing up plans with Chancellor Jeremy Hunt to extend the windfall tax on energy companies to plug the £50 billion budget black hole. Well, our political reporter, Olivia Hutley, joins us in the studio. Very good morning to you, Olivia. Nice yeah. to finally meet you in person. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, listen, let's talk about this because it was quite clear that Rishi Sunak did not want to go to COP27. Is it the blonde bombshell threatening to outdo him once again? I think it probably is. I think, you know, whether or not Rishi Sunak goes to COP27 is sort of neither here nor there. It's a bit of a Westminster bubble story. But what's interesting about it is that it's the first chink we've really seen in Rishi Sunak's armour. Obviously, just two weeks ago, he won a huge proportion of the parliamentary party, put their weight behind him, support him be prime minister. But at the time, it felt a little bit as though that was a pretty fragile coalition he'd put together. He had people from the left and the right of the party. Now, he said, quite justifiably, many might argue that he didn't want to go to COP27 to focus on domestic issues. And first, Alok Sharma, the former COP president, who's been removed from the cabinet, did a very outspoken interview on, on Newsnight about how uh, it was undermining Britain's position as a, as a green leader for the prime minister not to attend COP27. And then we had Boris Johnson, who claimed he was going to be helpful to the prime minister, mm. uh, saying that he was going to go to COP27, which obviously shows up for Rishi Sunak. So now... Sunak has had to make this really quite embarrassing U-turn. And let's not forget the king in all of this as well. There's been a little bit of sort of toing and froing with the king and Rishi Sunak on this. Yes, so the king wanted to go to COP27, was advised, it seems, by Liz Truss's government not to go to COP27, and Rishi Sunak has upheld that. There are lots of people who think, well, why not just send the king and focus on the domestic issues yourself? That would have seemed to have made sense. But that's not how it's played out, which is interesting in itself, because Rishi Sunak is this slick operator who plays the political moves very savvily, uh, but he doesn't seem to have managed that in this mm. situation. I think one of the papers was suggesting this morning, Olivia, that the, the Prime Minister was moving towards perhaps the King could go after all. The King would jump at the chance, of course, although he's hosting a reception here, of course, for uh, various um, environmental leaders, but it just doesn't work with the King's diary. So another reason why I suppose Sunak thinks he has to go but why didn't he make a statement and say mm. I'm going to do it on a zoom call mm. because I don't want to get on a plane a yeah. private plane uh, we're going to yeah. save the environment a lot of other world leaders could have done the same because we know what's happened private jets are going to be flying in from all around the world it's going to be a great big mm. jamboree <laughs> hundreds of journalists going to I don't know if you're going <laughs> no, no, very good. Very good. <laughs> See, we, we, don't, we don't, we don't cause gl climate change here on GB <laughs> News. But I mean, I mean, it is going to be a great hot air talking shop. And he, I think mm. he could have been quite strategic, Rishi Sunak, and said, "I'm going to go on a Zoom call." Well, yeah. And the interesting thing about it is that Greta Thunberg herself. Uh, as far as I'm aware, isn't going because right. she feels that the whole thing has become too commercialised yeah. yeah. and it's become an area for rich people to virtue signal rather than do anything about climate change. So I thought when that news broke, it would completely validate Rishi Sunak's decision mm. not to attend. And then he's made this U-turn seemingly because of pressure among the parliamentary ranks.